Hello, pup parents, and welcome to today's episode of the Perfect Pup Podcast. My name is Devin. This is a fun episode. It's one that I've honestly asked myself many times, and after doing some research, it makes sense. But the question is, why do dogs lick people, or why do dogs lick you? What, what is the reason? What is going on in their head? So let's dive right into it. First things first, if you haven't left a review on Apple Podcasts specifically, please, please do that. It's very, very helpful for the podcast. But the question is, why do dogs lick people? You've probably wondered this to yourself, and you probably have seen your dog do this since they were a puppy, even up into adulthood. You know, one of my dogs, she loves licking everything. She will lick people who don't want to be licked. She will lick me uncontrollably. She loves licking. Part of that for her and spe- for specifically was when she was a puppy and we had our older dog, Buddy, he was about 10 at, or ten or 11 at the time, she would nip at him, she would bite him. And so we redirected her and taught her how to lick instead and rewarded when it was licking him instead of biting him. Kind of a funny situation. But for our dogs, there's a handful of reasons why they lick people. And it's important to remember anything with dogs, not anything, but many things with dogs, we don't necessarily know 100%. We can't get inside their head. They can't talk to us, unfortunately, still hoping one day we can find a technology for that. But there's a handful of reasons as to why generally scientists and, and experts believe that dogs lick people. The first thing is affection. So this is also often learned from their their mothers. When they're born, a mother will lick their puppies to clean them. She will lick them just out of affection. And that kind of has been passed on to them. And oftentimes we see that affection shown to us through licking. You know, if you've been gone for a long time or maybe your dog is excited to see you, you notice they might come up and lick your leg or they're licking your face if you're down on their level, whatever it might be. So that's one of the reasons. The next reason is kind of similar to the first is that it's in their DNA. So there have been some studies done or, you know, some observing of wild dogs and coyotes and wolves and those types of kind of further back ancestors of dogs. And and they have seen that oftentimes when the mother will come back or the father will come back from, from hunting or whatever it might be, the puppy will lick the face of the parent to try and get them to feed them or to, in some cases, I know this is gross, but kind of vomit back up food for them to eat. At dogs are dogs, they're animals, right? But that is part of it is they, they're, they're looking for some food. They're looking, it was a way for them to communicate that they wanted food uh, to their parent. And so I think a lot of that is just kind of ingrained in their DNA. Uh, that doesn't mean if they're coming up and licking your face that they want you to regurgitate food for them, but just something to be aware of. It can be, you know, related to food. Um, another reason is, you know, we covered affection, covered it can be in their DNA, also just for attention. You know, again, especially with my dog Scout, the one who just loves to lick everything. As a puppy, she struggled a lot with biting and nipping. And so there was a lot of redirection. And our thought was, okay, if she's just licking, that's okay. And over time, it kind of turned into that's how she does a lot of things now. Um, and, and so it, it can be how she searches for attention and it might be what your dog is doing too. If they come up and start licking your leg, they might be bored. They might be just, you know, it's kind of similar to demand barking or, you know, the zoomies, like a lot of times dogs are just looking for attention from us and they can do that through licking. Um, the other reason is that you probably taste good to your dog. You may not realize this, but oftentimes human skin, it's, it's kind of has like a saltiness to it dogs find enjoyable as weird as that is. And you may have noticed that if you come home from exercising or if you know, you're, you're sweating, your dog might lick you more, or especially I've noticed after you work out. And if you kind of sit in your sweat for a minute, I've noticed my dogs will sometimes come up and sniff my arms and then want to lick my arms. I don't know. We don't understand exactly why, but there's that element of flavor or taste to our dogs. I know it's weird, but that's what it is. And, and the fifth reason, uh, is just oftentimes out of excitement or even nervousness. It can be kind of a a way to cope for some dogs. Um, There can be instances where a dog licking incessantly and and constantly is a sign of deeper problems, like even dog OCD, which is a thing, or, you know, separation anxiety if they're constantly licking 
a couch or something like that. But in most instances, it, it can just be a show of excitement or nervousness. Um, and, and there is kind of that thought as well in the dog world that it can be a, sh- a sign of submissiveness that, you know, if you're yelling or hitting or getting angry at your dog, which don't recommend, but if that happens, they will sometimes come up and lick you just to show you, Hey, I'm not, I'm not a threat. And they'll, you'll often see this with other dogs too. You know, you'll see smaller dogs, maybe younger dogs. If, if they're scared of a dog, they'll, they'll kind of cower and, and they'll, they'll maybe lick the other dog and try to just say, Hey, I'm not a threat. So those are some of the main reasons why dogs lick people. And again, we don't know exactly. We don't know every reason why we can't get in our dog's heads, but those are some of the main ones, especially the attention and the affection side of things. So it can be a way that your dog says, hey, I love you. I appreciate what you're doing. But again, we don't know for sure. Um, a couple other notes on just like the licking side of things. There, There's a lot of kind of myths or misconceptions about dogs and their hygiene and then licking you. Uh, I would just say this. Generally, what has been agreed upon is, is in most cases, it's not a bad thing for your dog to lick you. Um, the difference there would be if you have any like open cuts or if you, you know, have a weakened immune system or something like that, dogs' mouths are dirty. There is that myth that dogs' mouths are cleaner than humans. It's not true. And, and so there is bacteria and there's especially different bacteria. When you think about all the things your dog does throughout a day, you know, I've seen, I've literally seen my dogs lick the concrete. Like, I don't know why there's nothing there. There's no food, there's no snacks, but they lick the concrete and they're walking and they're interacting with other dogs. And, and so when you look through that lens, um, there is potentially a a little bit of a risk to having your dog lick in your face region, especially near your mouth. Um, not highly recommended, but also most experts agree. It's not going to be something where you get deathly sick. You probably have seen headlines where people get these obscure diseases from their dogs licking them. And that is something that can happen. It seems like it is the exception and not the rule. So hopefully this answered the question for you as to why dogs lick people. Uh, And hopefully this kind of gives you some insight the next time your pup comes up and starts licking your face that you understand a little bit more about what they're doing. So thank you so much for listening to this episode or watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you leave a review, I read every single one of them. If you have ideas for an episode, you can leave it within a review on Apple Podcasts, or you can email hello at pupford.com and I will add it to the list of ideas for podcast episodes. So again, thank you so much for listening, watching, and we will catch you on the next episode. 